Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a weekly check-in. It's going to be a little longer than usual because I am weekly checking in for the first two weeks of June. So I'm going to first do the 1st through the 7th and then we will move on to 8th through the 14th. Um, if you've been keeping up with my videos, you would know that this was coming. If not, I'm really sorry. I already apologized, but um, yeah, I just got behind, but that is okay. We're here to catch up now. Um, before we get into it, I want to let you know that all my expense labels as well as my no spend day stickers that I will be using are from my Etsy shop, which is the Planning Dancer. There's a link in my description as well as a coupon code, so feel free to check that out. And then the only other stickers I will be using are these payday stickers. They are from the Happy Planner Tiny Sticker Book if you are interested. So let's go ahead and just get right into it so that this video doesn't get too crazy long. So we're going to start off with gas, which over here I have my key. So gas is this light purple color. And I actually did get gas on the 7th. So I paid $30.78 for gas, which was the first time I got gas in a couple weeks. So we're still doing really good with gas prices as well as just like the um, amount of times I get gas now ever since all this stuff has happened um but yeah so I did get gas on the Sunday and then we're gonna move on to fun because I had one fun expense which was actually on Tuesday the second and that was at Michael's I spent $17.31 and I just went ahead and bought myself a new bullet journal because I do use a bullet journal every single day um, and the one that I bought is running out so for July I will have to start a new one so um, I didn't go with that exactly in mind when I went to Michael's but this was actually the first time I went into Michael's since March so I just went in to look around and I did need that so it was kind of cool to be able to get it um, myself rather than having to order it online so there was that and then um those were actually all of the expenses for the first week. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my paydays for the first week. So I had payday on the first, as well as the second. and then the fifth. So there's that. And then the rest of the days were obviously no spend days. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my no spend day stickers and mark those so the first, let's see how many we had. One, two, three, four, five, five. Sorry, I almost counted Sunday. So how are you guys? Please leave me comments letting me know what you've been up to, anything new, anything exciting. Also, how's the weather where you are? Because it is so hot here. 
which you would think I would be used to since I've lived here my entire life, but it never gets better. It just gets hotter. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to the actual weekly check-in portion for this first week. So I'm going to flip over to this page here and we're just going to add in our spent amount and then we will find out our remaining and we will move to the second week. So for gas, we spent $30.78. 30 78 and then fun, we spent 17.31. And then for food, we didn't spend anything as well as unbudgeted, which is great. So now we're going to go ahead and do the math for these. So let's see. Okay, so for gas, I only budgeted $10 a week. And since there's four Fridays, that comes out to $40. So 40 minus 30, 78 is $9 and 22 cents, which I do kind of see myself going over this amount, but obviously we will wait and see. But um, yeah, I mean, as of right now, we're in week three and I pretty much have a full tank of gas so maybe I will be fine um, but like I said we will see so for fun this month I budgeted $80 that comes out to $20 a week and then we're gonna take 1731 so that leaves us with 62 69 and then for food, I budgeted 30 a week. So that leaves us with 110. And then I don't budget anything for unbudgeted. So there's that. And now let's flip right back to the monthly and do week two. So here we go. Starting off with fun, once again, I had two fun expenses this week. So the first one was at Ross, and I actually spent a lot of money. <laughs> I spent $50.05. Um, the only reason it was that high was because I got a pair of shoes, and then I also got a dress and something else i can't quite remember what but i did get like four three or four things so there's that and then one more fun expense and that was only a dollar and four cents at walmart and i just bought some new pens because if you guys watch my videos, you would know this pen here, which is a Pentel RSVP pen in the fine point, is my favorite pen of all time. Um, this is like the second best, but this I only like for writing on stickers. Um, so yeah, um, but I was running out of ink in my RSVP pens and I usually buy like a pack of five and I'm on my last one which is here the ink is all the way up here so I thought it was time to buy a new one so that was at Walmart for a dollar basically which is amazing because it's literally such a good pen and then last but not least I had one more expense which was on Wednesday and it was a food expense and I spent $7.85 at Chipotle. I was so hungry this day when I woke up in the morning and then I saw a YouTube video 
a mukbang of someone eating chipotle and it looked so good so i got ready did all the things i had to do in the morning and then by the time i got out it was lunch time so i went and picked up chipotle and then brought it back to my house and enjoyed my lunch by myself <laughs> but it was so good Alrighty, so those were actually the only three expenses for that week. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put my payday down, which was only on the 9th. And then we're going to go in with no spend day, which I, one, two, three, four. I don't have enough stickers, which I'm just now realizing but that's okay. We will just leave um, Sunday without one and then next week um, in my weekly check-in, I will go ahead and add that sticker there. It's not a big deal. I know I didn't spend anything because of course there's not a label there. So, Look, a whole empty sheet. Very exciting. Alrighty, so now let's move right to the weekly check-in page again. And let's do some math. So let's see. Um, so gas, we did not use any as well as unbudgeted so I'm just gonna go ahead and put those zeros in there and then for fun we actually had two expenses so fifty dollars and five cents at Ross and then one dollar and four cents at Walmart so that's fifty one dollars and nine cents I could have just done that on my own but Apparently, I didn't think ahead. Um, and then food, I only had one, and that was $7.85. So let's go ahead and subtract. So gas, I still have the same remaining, which is $9.22. And then we had $62.69 and we spent $51.09, so I only have $11.60 remaining in fun. And then starting with $110 and that subtracting $7.85 leaves us with $102.15. And then once again, that doesn't have anything. And that is actually it for the weekly check-in. So let me just run through all my pages. So here's my income spread. These are all the incomes that are marked with payday stickers on the monthly view. And then for my business transaction log, I've had two in the first two weeks. Um, I had, a, they're both post office, but yeah. So two post office runs. And then here on my bills, I wrote down the bills that I have paid in the minus section. So my car payment was paid as well as Best Buy and Bank of America. So there's that. And then lastly, um, I had two sinking funds transactions with which were both for Violet. So the first one was at Ross. I bought her a new, um, I wrote a bed here, but it's really like the mat that goes in her crate because her crate did not come with one. And then I bought her one in the past and it just was not good. So I finally found one that fit and she loves it. So that was $10 at Ross. And then um, I spent $20 on flea spray like for our house and our yard to make sure that the fleas are not attacking violet because they did one day which was so weird 
because she has always had flea medicine and they've never really got on her even though I did have her last summer and it was just as hot as it is now but for some reason they just attacked her one day so the next day I went to Walmart and bought like everything I could to get them away from our house so there's that and that is it for the first two weeks um, I'm really loving how the June theme is looking um, I have to start thinking about July already because we're already in week three which is crazy but yeah I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you were waiting for it I hope it was worth the wait and um, yeah I will see you all on Friday of course for another cash envelope stuffing please subscribe if you're new and I will see you all then bye guys